Okay, this part I'm going to try to make for my buddy Marty. Uh, the company that I used to work at is thinking about getting Inventor, so this one's going to be kind of specific for him. I'm going to make a tabletop. See how it spun around like that? I don't really know why I like to make the orientation. We're going to do it from the plan view at the top. Um, it has this polygon, so uh, it's an eight-sided polygon. I'm going to pick from the center. And you can see it kind of rotates around. I'll show you how to get around with that part. Um, so right now we need to constrain it. It's, it's kind of rotating this way, but it's also a little bit messed up because it wasn't at zero. Um, I'm going to make this plane visible, projective geometry, uh, just so you can see. Now we're going to come in here and now we're going to make it so now that's parallel and perpendicular. And the dimension that I'm going to use across here is 48 inches. So now we have a fully constrained part. Remember that was one of our important, oh, let's go to our view, shaded with edges, a uh, fully constrained part, it's all blue. Um, I'm going to go into the sheet metal and uh, there, stuff's a little bit heavier. I'm going to start with 094 and then we'll, for uh, 12 gauge, and then we'll uh, bump it up and I'll show you how easy it is once you get your configuration to change that. Face, apply. So now we have our thickness, uh, 094. I want to go in and I want to put the bends around the outside. I think they were inch and a half flanges. Um, if I remember correctly, they use a little bit bigger radius over there, so we'll go with a uh, 0.094. We'll take the, the radius plus, which is what the material thickness is. And now we're going to go and we're going to go to the bottom because we want to have the bends go down. Um, one of the things to remember, we want to come in and make our corners really nice and tight for the welders. So we'll go in 001. Let's go back and we'll uh, run around and get the rest of these flanges. As we talked about before, so there's a top and a bottom. Um, there's the top, there's the bottom. So you can rotate around to, you know, it's however, if you get kind of good at grabbing them. You'll be able to see it. That one was a little bit confusing even for me, so we'll come in here and we'll look at what our top and bottom is a little bit better. There's top, there's the bottom. Um, so we say apply. And so now we've basically made the uh, top. We want to create a flat pattern. Come inside, you can see nice tight corners, just the way that uh, you like to have it. Go to folded part. Want to save it. We'll call it table. Save. And now if you want to make a uh, DXF, you would go flat pattern, uh, save copy as. I don't know why it goes to a SAT file. I have no idea what that is. Uh, well, table works for me. And we'll do save. Um, here you can go and you can get rid of a lot of stuff. Generally speaking, I only like the interior and the exterior profile. You don't really need all the other stuff, especially if you're going to go to the laser guy. Uh, but you can set these parameters up so you can you, you can turn off and on whatever you'd like. If you're going to make the drawings like I've made on the other pieces where we've uh, been making bend lines, you'd want to leave the bend lines on, obviously. But uh, I know that he's going to give this just to the laser guy. So interior and outer, interior and outer geometry is really the only thing that uh, the laser guy needs. Say OK. Um, and so now if we wanted to go to look at that, we could go into our um, file. It's probably going to be over in here. Um, so here's our DXF. Double click it. We want to use uh, AutoCAD Lite. So there we are. So that would be uh, what we'd give Jason the uh, DXF. So, uh, and if you wanted to get, have the one with the bend lines on it, again, I could show you how to do that, Marty. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Take care.